Hey Tim, could you give us a hand with something? No worries. What do you want? Well, I'm thinking maybe we could make a raised tin bed. Tell you what, here's the stuff we need. Here's the stuff we need. Okay, let's hold it up bit by bit. What have we got? We need some tin. Some tin, um, which is white on the outside, but it doesn't really matter. It's just what we had. And some bits of wood, which in this case are four by twos cut in half. And so we've got the tin and we've got the wood. What's that in your hand, mate? A drill. Every man needs a drill. Every woman needs a drill. Every child needs a drill. Every person in Australia needs a drill. What? Hang on, what were you doing just then? Can you explain? Okay, so I was putting the driver in. The driver's the bit that makes it, the screws go in. So to do that, you put the driver in there, put it in forward, hold it with your hand, Oops. And then lock it. So now it's stuck. So that's not the bit that does the actual screwing. No. That's like what drives it in. Where's the bit that does the screwing? I'm glad you asked. Could you put that down a bit further? Sorry. Whoa. Bad filming. There we go. Tech screw. Tech screw. Love them. Gotta love a tech screw. The tech screw is like the bobby pin of the building industry. If you want to stick it into something, you just go... And it goes in. Oh, it seems to like grip it. It can also come out if you put it in the wrong spot. Put it in somewhere else. And you can use them over and over. That sounds like the sort of thing I'd want to do all day. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so there we have the ingredients. Okay. And now... Hang on. Don't we need something else? We need some help. Help! I need somebody help. Not help! Not anybody help. I what need about? Scott and Rebecca. Beckham. Help! Oh. Help! Oh my God, here they come. They were laying a brick garden bed, but now they've come over to help you build our raised tin garden bed. Here's Scott. Ta -da. And Beck. And Beck, we're going to start our own gardening show with really bad filming and terrible <laughs> sound. And incredibly flexible hips. Can you do that again? Sure. It's <laughs> good, isn't it? Okay, we've got our friends, we've got our drills, we've got our wood, we've got our tin, we have our tech screws. We are ready to go. So first we're going to make the end of the bed. So we get these two bits of wood. You want to grab another one? And we're going to Stick it all together with the tech screws. Beck, you want to stick one in there. Anything she should know about using that drill? Um, it's quite strong and it can like twist out your hand if you're not careful. But Beck's pretty good with tools. But hold, so just keep track of your wrist because it's really hard at the end look at that look how she's pressing down from the top and using the whole of her energy from her arms down on the drill whoop there you go see you're allowed to make mistakes even the experts so she started a little bit slower going 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 and once it starts, see a little kickback from the drill? You have to watch that at the end. Right. Yay! Thumbs up, Beck. So put another one in down here. Tim, what can you do? That first bit was really hard. Is there anything you could do? I'll show you a special trick. Scott, can you chuck me the hammer? What Don't chuck it. Do. That's it. Well done, Scott. Thank you. <laughs> Please pass me carefully the hammer. What you can do is get um, ah. a punch and a hammer, and if you make a little divot, it will be easier. Could you use a nail to do that if you, you didn't could have... use anything. Yeah, a nail or... Maybe a, not your thumb. No, probably not your thumb. You could actually use a tech screw to do it. Yeah, that will do it. Knock yourself out there. Knock yourself out. Do you need this little rubber Yeah. Oh, no, not really, but might as well leave it in there. Yeah. 
beautiful, just like I bought one. So here we've got Beck. We're doing a bit of a close up now of the uh, drill bit and the tech screw going in. So there she's got the drill with the tech screw on it and she's gonna show us how she puts that together. So we just put this in the drill head and then we find our little divot to make it a bit easier. And then we push down, but not too hard. <laughs> and then we just go nice and slow at the start. Brilliant. There and there we go. What does it feel like when you manage to get that in there perfectly like that? It's pretty satisfying. <laughs> okay, so we've got our two ends that you can see that we've made, the two short little ends. And then, Tim, what have you got there? This is a milk crate that improves your balance if you're old and feeble. <laughs> and also helps the bed to go sort of square. So we've got the ends done. Now we're just going to stick the sides on. Yep, with that, the extraordinary screwer. Now, I'm just looking at that wood. Mm -hmm. The wood's on the outside. Yep. Why would you do that? Well, otherwise, when you put the soil in, um, the soil will rot the, um, the timber out. So we put oh, the soil on the outside. Very clever. And what we've done here is we've sort of lined the timber up so that the, the timber's sticking out a little bit and that way all the if there's any sharp edges where it's been cut they won't be hanging out to cut your leg or whatever when you walk past. So when you have cut edges do you put them on the top or the bottom? Well see this edge here this is a factory edge so it looks sharp but actually you'd have to try pretty hard to cut yourself. Whereas what if you were worried about that is there anything you could do? Yeah, there's all sorts of ways you can fix it. The easiest is just put a bit of um, old hose over the top, split the hose, put it on here and then tie it on with a couple of bits of wire. Cool. Or you could even put an edge on here and make it like a little seat. Oh, a wooden edge, that'd be fun. Yeah. Okay, so Beck's going to now attach that. Beck's going to get that first one in. There she goes. Beautiful. No pressure back. <laughs> Maybe a little bit of pressure. No pressure of performance. No, I know, but she needs a little bit of pressure oh, on the screw. Shame. You are so funny. I'm so funny. I don't think we should put on pressure for screwing. All right, last one, a bit tricky on the bottom. Okay, so we'll get them to put the other end onto the long end. So we have two short ends and two long ends. Okay, we've got our friends here down to the last corner of our bed. Um, so Beck's making sure it's square on the milk crate. Scott's screwing it in there. And you can just about see the finished bed with the wood on the outside. Bed, we usually make them about a metre wide just the perfect amount for getting in each side of the bed so you can get into your veggies and then they kind of end up being as long as the bits of tin were that we had so this one looks like about a meter by maybe a meter and a half and we're just about ready for a cup of tea all right it's a cup of time guys smoko, smoko. Make sure you're all facing the same way. See ya. Bye. Okay. Oh, I should have kept filming that. It was funny. I should have kept filming. <laughs>